are you today? I am doing quite well. It's actually not daytime here. It's like 1030 at night. Um, and I am ready to pour some paint <laughs> today. So thank you for stopping in and joining me. I'm going to get this prepped and then we'll pour some paint we'll learn how to do something new I'm gonna try another dip today but I'm going to try like a flower dip and I'm going to use plastic instead of the paper towel and I think part of the reason that my paper towels are giving me so much problem is that I'm using really good paper towels so I won't be doing any more with paper towel until I get to the dollar store and pick up some cheapo paper towels. I do have a drawer full of plastic that I have saved, that, though, for trying to do um, uh, dips. So anyway, let me get this base ready and let's learn how to pour paint. Today what we're doing, what I'm doing, is a reverse dip, and I've got my paints again mixed up in my little cups, uh, and that's because they were they're they're fine for Dutch pours, but they need to be a little bit thicker for this technique, um, and I, that, I think that's one of the reasons I was having the problems with um, the last couple of these dips that I've done. Uh, a part of it, I think, was the paper towel. They're way too absorbent. The paper towels that I got, I need to get some some other cheaper paper towels. But then also my paint, some of it was a little thin and some of it was a little thick. And thin is great for um, Dutch pours and some of the other pours where you need a lot of paint moving. But not so great for um, these where you kind of want it to stay a little bit. So the colors I'm using um, are going to be my pigment blue ultramarine and then I have Prussian blue and iridescent blue green both from Pebeo Studios and then for my leaves I'm using hunter green and neon green from Deco Art and then I also have a little bit of yellow to use right in the center and it's acrylic. Um, so those are the paints that I'm using and I took a picture and anyway this part takes a while and I'm going to take my sweet time with it but I will speed you up and...
I've gotten my design down. I do seem to be tilting a little bit that way. Either that or my design is just... I can never seem to find the center. <laughs> I guess I really should mark it before I actually start. So I have my piece of paper, or plastic rather. This is just a bag that I've saved from something or other. Ah, now I've got paint all over it. Gosh darn it, Lori. Well, I'm putting it down anyway. <laughs> Hopefully I don't ruin anything. I'm trying to wipe this off. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. And now I'm going to pat the air bubbles out. Kind of rub them out, and this takes a while too, so I will once again <laughs> put you to some music. I hope you guys like that part. I don't know, sometimes I'm more chatty than others, but um, I don't want to bore you with, you know, the story of my life, so <laughs> it's not really that interesting, I don't think. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's let's see if you guys like this music. I hope you do. So I think I've got all of the air bubbles out. I can see a few popping up here and there in my paint underneath. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this up so we can play with what's underneath here. I'm super excited to see how it turned out. <laughs> Yay! I've had some problems with these in the past, as you know. My spirals, I still need to work on those. Anyway, a trick that I saw somebody do to try to keep their centers in center was that they put a little something-something right in there um, and then held it steady while they were pulling up their corners. So I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that. And we shall see if it works. These colors are looking pretty cool. All right, let's... Ah! Gosh darn it. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe what we'll do, not entirely happy with it, obviously, right? <laughs> um, well, let's torch it and see what happens. Got all these bubbles showing up. I sure seem to have peeled a lot of paint off again. And I didn't manage to stay in the center, I think. Well, what the heck? What's the worst that can happen, right? So, uh, I saw someone do this. 
um, with one of these that she was, and I'm pretty sure it was Fiona, who is far more talented than I could ever dream of being, but she did a spiral. In it and brought it around to there. That kind of almost looks like a seashell now. I don't know. I don't think my base coat was thick enough. Let's see if we can get this baby to move. Well, the same problem I've kind of run into with the other ones, right? My edge paint gets all pulled off. And so then what is there doesn't want to move. And I end up with unmoving paint. There, that's helping. No, this is not what I wanted. Not, not, not. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, we'll pour it off and see if we can't make some nice skins out of it. Seems to be what I do most lately. <laughs> Sorry, Sherry. I can't make anything interesting for you. <laughs> Because I keep blowing it. Oh well, this will either make it to a video or it will make it to the disaster reel. Um, nobody knows for sure <laughs> at this point. I do usually share my disasters with you. I'm not 100% sure what's going, what I'm doing wrong with these dips. So... If anybody knows, if anybody watches my video and knows what I'm doing wrong, I would super appreciate any comments or any tips as to why all of my paint is sucking off of my dips. Am I not using enough paint? Am I not putting a thick enough base down? Am I... Am I pushing too hard when I use my plastic? Should I be pushing more lightly? Anyway, if you have an idea for me, please let me know. And in the meantime, have a fantastic day. Uh, take care of you. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see, what else? Nothing, I don't think. Bye now from beautiful British Columbia and Vancouver Island. Have a great day.